Alicia, welcome to Dance Signal Live. And today, tonight, right here, right now, we're gonna introduce you to a single upcoming hits that last like last Fridays is releasing on the all digital platform, Hush, by one massive collaboration between Yellow Claw and Weird Genius with the nice vocalist from Rayco. And now tonight we're gonna explore the things, explore the collaboration process, and please welcome all of them. Now we talk to Jim. Why you choose the Weird Genius? Tell us about the Weird Genius and Yellow Claw, the relationship process. How can you know them from the first time? I think we already know them for like four years, four years or three years or something. Okay. The longer, five, four years. We did. Um, we just met a couple of times, and then we did. I think one show in. How was that again? Where was that show again? Um, it was the it's the club that closed down. Uh, mm. uh, it's a it's a blowfish blowfish. No no no, it wasn't blowfish. It's a club no, no, that no, closed it was, down. It was um, like Bumbum or Sarabaya, something like that. What you mean you mean Foundry? No, not Foundry. No, not in Paris either. Uh, itu <laughs> yang di Senayan yang di Senayan apa sih? Uh, stadium. X2 X2. Oh, not stadium. X2 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 yeah. X2 yeah yeah. Oh that. Yeah, 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 that's Yeah, we also did a, we also did one show outside of Jakarta. Remember that the show? The what? Man, it's it's so long ago. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mungkin gue tanya sama 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 Arab mungkin ya Arab. Lu gimana caranya bisa uh, ngobrol sama sama Yellow Claw as a weird genius bisa benar-benar uh, bikin. Uh, single hash in it up mm, because Ricky, Ricky Sick introduced me to Jim and Nails and then um, yeah we were talking so much about about making a project and then boom hush yay just like that as simple as that as simple as that itu kira-kira kapan rap? bulan-bulan apa rap? masih inget gak lu? Um, awal tahun Oh, awal tahun. Oke, okay, nice. Kalau produksiannya berarti gua cuma uh, gua mungkin bisa nanya ke Gerald. Lu bisa ceritain Gerald awal misalnya as a, a stupid my, my stupid question is like how to uh, get the notes, how to get the keys. Itu lu kolaborasinya gimana? How you collaborate between uh, you and the Yellow Claw? Like you you give them the instrument or you just zooming with finding the notes? Or how? There's actually nothing special in terms of like production process. Kita semuanya kerjainnya benar-benar kayak kita ngerjain kolaborasi biasa aja sebenarnya. Jadi uh, Yellow Claw sebenarnya mulai mereka ngasih kita base-nya, terus kita ngelanjutin, kita ngerapi-ngerapiin. Terus juga di situ ada vokal, that's where Reiko comes in and then he, she gives uh, she makes the vocal and stuff and also the lyrics. Udah jadi gitu. Kayak no special process, no anything is like pure collaboration between us. Gitu. Awesome. So how to make the lyrics? Oh, How? itu itu langsung dari Yellow Claw, langsung dari Yellow Claw-nya. Lyrics if from all the Yellow Claw. Oke, okay, Jim. Yeah, uh, from Yellow Claw. Please tell us about the lyric. <laughs> Amsterdam it. <laughs> nice. My secret, my secret plans are right here. <laughs> so, how tell us about the lyric of the hush? How, how what is all about? Um, I think it's just I think it's just like a love song. And um, but then like more of the um, yeah the sad part of love like love can be sad sometimes too you know okay before it gets good again and it's interesting that when the song was just a demo a lot of people like I don't know maybe it's too sad or something like that but now it's out a lot of people really connect to it and, and really feel like they they are in that place okay it's dope I think Nils did the first version with um with a writer in Sweden. Actually, um, and uh, yes, yeah, it really stuck out. Really good. Um, I like it. Nice. Okay, Jim. I'm gonna ask you something, Jim. Uh, about the 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 forecast, the EDM, the clubbing scene in the future. What is your forecast about it? What do you think about the future of clubbing scene about this pandemic? Um, 
to be super honest, I, I don't really know. I just hope things sort of go back to normal again. And I feel like a lot of people are really like, they want, want it again. Yeah. Um, they want to go out again. I feel like I live in Bali. So yeah. like, there's a lot of clubs here, like totally closed because there's no tourism, you know? Yeah. So I feel like once we get over this, maybe it's with uh, uh, with medicine, maybe it's just by, by like, social distancing and face masking the hell out of this virus, yeah. uh, then it's going to be back and it's going to be bigger. But I also feel like maybe there's going to be less traveling, which would mean more power to local artists. Okay. Uh, and I also feel like, yeah, it's just going to be, it, it will be back and it will be better even. But I doubt if it's going to be back ever at the same time. Yes. They, they actually, um, they uh, canceled EDC today. Did you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Crazy. yeah. We were supposed to play there, and, and it was like, for a couple of weeks, I was like, man, how are they going to pull this off? You know, like, this, it, should, it would be crazy if they could do it, but yeah, they, they really tried a lot. Tomorrowland didn't happen this year. Yeah. I, don't know, I just feel like next summer, people are going to be like, they want to party for two, for two summers. So everybody should be ready for it, and, um, and uh, yeah. So I hope to see I hope the Finnish play those festivals too, you know? Small yeah. land, uh, EDC, that kind of stuff. That would be um, fair, I guess. So what do you guess about uh, this year or in January and February? Yeah, everything is getting a little bit normal. Um, like, I think the people need to live normal lives first and then they can go to big events, you know? Yeah. That's how we look at it. We look at it like, at first, people need to be like completely normal in the restaurant and everything like that, and then they can do these huge, huge, huge events. Yeah. And also, clubs will be opening first, but we mainly do like festivals. Yeah, and that's gonna be it's gonna take a long time. Okay, okay. Um, so how do you think about this house as a record label? Um, well, it's the most stressful project that I've worked on so uh -huh. far. <laughs> <laughs> it was I so mean, like, he lost all of his hair. Yeah, dude. Like, I was so stressed, I lost all my hair. Yeah, like, um, I mean, it. I, I'm really new when it comes to like record label stuff, and it's like working internally in the music business, right? So it was a really good learning curve, and like learning experience to, in a way, work with somehow two labels at the same time so like i took care of like plus stuff and then there's barong family which i also work for so it was like sort of like double work for me yeah. <laughs> it was like handling and both sides but yeah you get double paid <laughs> yeah i guess yeah i get double paid so it's fine <laughs> thanks Jim. yeah uh it's it's really cool i think um i think Starting from now on, uh, there's gonna be a lot more collaborations between like international artists and Indonesian artists, which was kind of difficult if we uh, like think about it like a couple years ago. Like, how many local artists get to work with uh, artists outside of Indonesia? But now we're starting to see that pop up a lot more, especially in the dance scene. Like, for example, you know, we got Weird Genius and Yellow Claw, and then we have Blue Claire and Martin Garrix. And yeah. then we have this another kid, Papa Khan. He's going to be doing collabs with like a lot of big people too, as what I see from Twitter. Uh, but yeah, that's it's it's dope. Like it's 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 growing the scene over here. It's exposing artists over here to the outside world. So I'm all for it. And yeah, hopefully we get to do more of uh, plus X Barong plus X whatever. You know. So it's possible to to X X the next, yeah. The plush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a winner from the last night quiz. Uh, his name is Ferry. Ferry has uh, two questions. Um, so my first question will be, how and why uh, Yellowclaw and Virginius choose Reiko to be the vocal for Hush? Is there any specific reason, maybe? Virginius guy came up with her, and I, I. I looked her up and I, I was really like, damn, this is dope. Yeah. I think she has a really, uh, really unique voice. Kind of Thank sucks you. that she's in this 
conversation, it makes it a little awkward. But yeah. She has a really uh, good voice, and I also like all of her, like the, the more slowish, like ballad stuff she does, like on Instagram and everything. Oh, okay. I think she has a bright future ahead of her. She has yeah. cool clothes too. She dresses really nice. Thank you. <laughs> it's also important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I so think, like, and then. Oh, I think like I guess like. Ricky like approached me and he was like, "Hey, like, do you want to do this track? Like, I think you'd be like really great for it. Like, blah blah blah." It's for like we're genius, yellow card. I'm like, sure, like let's fucking like try it out at the studio. And I guess it just worked out. It worked out perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess that's kind yeah, of they opposed me, but yeah. Yeah. At first, I was like, uh, I was like. In in a way, I was like, yes, it'll work. But in the same time, I was like, kind of doubting it because I I knew uh, Reiko was more into like slow music, and I was like, oh, this is kind of like dance music. But I want to try it out anyways, especially since she's like our new talent and plus, right? So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this is probably like a really good opportunity for her to like make more music and like get her name out there. So yeah, good luck, Reiko. <laughs> yeah, but I also think that the, that her her typical voice, uh, which is more of a, like a like a has a little bit of like a jazzy indie thing to it, yeah. makes the song a little bit more. Um, I don't want to say sad. I don't know the word in English. Like, in English it's melancholic. It's like yeah, melancholic. Yeah, yeah melancholic or mellow. And it kind of, kind of finished off the song the way it should have been. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, next question, Perry. So my next my next question uh, will be, what's the hardest part on making hus? Being away from each other, I guess, like working. So oh yeah, yeah, all, yeah, and time. Yeah, like all of us are like all over the place. So I guess what yeah. we did was, what was hard is like we had to just keep passing on like the vocals to each other, like emailing and then like just everything instead of yeah. doing. Everything, like physically together that would be a lot easier but i guess well i guess for me that was the hardest part is just like retaking vocals and extending it like back and forth and like you know yeah, stuff you like can, we, you can we, we can tell her six heads right yeah you, you get six heads movie. working on one song plus there's like the labels making the decisions too helping with the decisions so yeah. there's a yeah. lot lots of uh, stakeholders maybe on on the song but Yeah, there's not enough like chance to meet and actually to give out the ideas on yeah. on real time, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, Reiko can tell you how many times we had to go back into the studio <laughs> just because there's uh, revisions. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, how many times was it? Do you think? Like, like, two or three times, but then during those two yeah. or three times, we had to do like a lot of like takes. Yeah. Like there's a lot of different versions of the song. I can tell you that. But on the yeah, final, Reiko, <laughs> you really happy or what? Yeah, no, I'm. I obviously like. I'm glad that it turned out really well. Like, I'm glad we tried out like different like versions of the song and like actually stuck with this one and it turned out like really great. It's like perfect. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, oh. one. Yeah, ada mana lagi? I, I wanna. I- I want to add something yeah, about yeah. the whole Hush project. Uh, when you watch the music video, how long do you think it took took to make that? Uh, one day? Like just <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> just, 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 just guess. <laughs> no, like no. A realistic guess. Uh, realistic guys is uh, uh, not uh, less than a week. Less than a week. Yeah, a week maybe. That's their realistic guess with all the CG and green screen and building the set and everything. Yeah. My beauty, my natural beauty. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you're sort of right. Uh, like the whole <laughs> shooting, the whole shooting process is like a day, and then like we had like four days to prepare, and then it took a week to edit. But like usually, a video of that. Kind of like concept and scale. It usually takes like a month. You know, it's like making videos is not easy. <laughs> But that cool. shit was that shit was pretty crazy. And everyone had to shoot in different places. Like Jim was shooting in Bali. Nils was re- shooting in Amsterdam. Yes. And then 
everyone in Jakarta shot in Jakarta, but yeah, stressful, man. So how who's, did whose idea about the painting? Why why you why uh, you uh, translate the music into the painting concept? I think that was, was Jim's idea, right? Yeah, it was it was Jim's idea. I know he told the director that he's like, we need to incorporate like face paint into this like video, and then. I guess the director he went on with like his idea of like what he wanted to do with the face paint, like the whole like crying, like like legs, like it's on my legs, it's on my neck, like it was his idea, but basing it off of like what Jim told him to do and stuff like that. So who's the director, Jim? Is he guy from uh, Jakarta? Actually, I never met him. I only uh, what's up with him. Siapa you, you met. You you met him like a couple of times. It's Alif Patterson. He, Alif Patterson. Yeah, he shot um, Mike Cervello's music video, the he, lights he one. He shot it with us in Surabaya. We had the long hair back then. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, he shot Jiri's music video too, uh, the one in Jakarta, and then yeah, Nikki's music video. There's there's a bunch that he shot. Okay, okay. Arab still there, Arab? Rap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kalau kemarin lati, last lati is like you involved as a co-director or 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 or, or a director. So, uh, what's your contribution about the video? This hush. Any oh, idea? Or my, super idea? <laughs> my contribution is I came to the set and shoot. <laughs> That's my contribution. <laughs> in the mo in the morning, bro. In the morning. So, At the time. That's my biggest contribution, yeah. Yeah. His biggest contribution is like, okay, usually, Arap itu, like, usually, if he has a shoot, he'll be like 30 minutes late. That's like his thing, right? So <laughs> this time, it's, it's two hours late. Yeah, 30 yes, sorry, minutes yeah. to two hours late. That's like, that's like his thing. But this time, he was like three hours early or something. Oh, and I'm like, okay. Early. Wow. Yeah, yeah he, he was like really was early. He came early. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's Thanks, good. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> one last question about the, about today is uh, the each person next project. Each person, not Yellow Claw and with Genius uh, Reiko. Each person, starting with you, Rap. Each person, as your personal next project, Rapa. Whatever it is. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm going to make a pre-wedding video with Jim. Uh, we're we're going to Sumba <laughs> together, and then yeah, we're going to see the sunset and stuff. Yeah, it's romantic, romantic stuff. With Jim. <laughs> Because Jim is uh, is a great movie director, right? No, no. Yes. He will be my he will be my husband. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't video? say. I didn't I'm doing say video yes. for the wedding. Like one hand the video for the wedding, and the other hand I'm doing DJing. But yeah. I'm getting What? double pay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just like Ricky. Just like Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> So Jim, what's your uh, next project as a person? As a person? Yes. Um, <laughs> going home. <laughs> I'm actually working on a movie uh, on Bali. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Any, any clue about the movie? What it's all about? Documentation or what? Or an, no, it's, uh, it's like a movie movie. Like, um, like a fiction movie. So like, like a yeah, fiction feature movie, movie right? Nice. About, um, about um, the island. About the Tell island. Tell him, bro. <laughs> Come. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Say it. Say it. About a young man. He's a YouTube famous vlogger. He goes to Bali for wedding. <laughs> every single time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's Ara. So it's a movie about Ara. <laughs> Everything goes wrong. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, get out. Get out. What your uh, planning? Well, I'm just like gonna continue my making content on my social media as always, and then 
because I'm I'm still making music f- uh, for like rappers, right? Especially Ramen Girl and Sleepy Door, one one of the talents on Plus Plus Music. So we have and this me and me and me asshole. Yes, and me, and NYB me. too. Yes, <laughs> NYB, NYB. Yes. Yeah. So me and Ramen, we made this collective name Top Squad, also with Ricky actually. And okay. then we'll, we're planning to release some more songs, gitu sih sebenarnya. Jadi kita masih nunggu kapan enaknya bisa rilis. Tapi sementara, yaudah. Okay, we just make as many songs, as many demos as possible, and then we wait to release. And then I'm gonna DJ on Arab's wedding, supposedly, but maybe okay. it's cancelled. Whoa, 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 Yes, it's supposed to be this year, but I don't know. Okay. Pes- pes- I don't know. The COVID, the COVID things and stuff, I don't know. Okay. Pesan dari kami cukup sekali, Arab ya. Sekali aja, Arab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, semoga, semoga. Amin, 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 amin. So, Sik, what's your next future project? Besides oh. the, the double paid. <laughs> oh, um, well... I am gonna start streaming on Twitch tomorrow, like video games, I guess that's a thing. Um, and then of course new music, I'm releasing a single this month and I have a remix coming out Friday and then just, yeah, that's about it man, trying to, trying to live my life as a monk. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's about it. Okay, okay. But- So last but not least, Reiko, what's your next future, baby? Well, I have a song prepared, but you know we're working, we're trying to find a producer for it and everything. So hopefully that comes out like in the next two months because everything's ready. I just need to go in there and like start recording. And I have another song collab with one of my friends, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, how many singles that you've made so far? Well, I have two other singles before Hush. So that was one was released last year, and the most recent one were, was released like last month. So after Hush, two more singles, and then we'll see maybe an EP next year, hopefully. Nice, 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 nice. So everybody, Dan Signal wanna say thanks a lot and good luck for the Hush. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Signal. Well, I send you this. Right. Okay, uh, Jim, where's Jim? <laughs> Jim's gone. I, I think he has a meeting. Yeah, he usually has a meeting. Okay. Sick. Thank you. Gera, thank you. Arab, thank you. Ferry, thank you. Thank, thank you. Yes. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.